don't wipe your eyes. You're going to see some blurry backgrounds in this video, and that's the way it's supposed to be. This week's question is, how do I get that blurry background look in photos? The easy answer is you use a large aperture, but it's only a partial answer. Lenses work differently. You can use a, a 50 millimeter f1.4 or f1.8 or f2 and get a pretty good blurry background down to about f3.2 with typical 50 millimeter lenses. But there's a better way to get a blurry background and a background from which your subject is really nicely isolated. So take a look at a couple of these photos here that I'm gonna stream really quickly and you'll see how well isolated the subject is from the background and how smooth the background's out of focus area is. In each one of these photos that are playing right now, the image was taken with a telephoto lens. When you have a telephoto lens, the depth of field is much narrower than it is with a wide angle lens or a standard lens. A 50 millimeter lens at f5.6 will have a pretty decent depth of field. A wide angle lens at f5.6 might have a 50 yard deep depth of field. A 135 millimeter lens at f5.6 might have just a deep enough depth of field to get a person in focus from front to back. So if you really want to get that blurry background out of focus look, the best way to do it is pick up a lens that's in the 75 to 100 to 135, even a 200 millimeter lens, and a 200 millimeter f4 can do this very nicely, and take uh, and use a telephoto lens to isolate your subject from the background and cause that background to really blur out of focus.